Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be making a delicious stew butterfish recipe. Remember for all the ingredients and measurements, it will be listed down below in the description box. Now here's what you will need for ingredients. Let's get started. Now let's take a look at the ingredients. In this little container here, I have for my dry ingredients, some chicken bouillon, black pepper, complete seasoning, some chief all-purpose seasoning, some accent and some garlic salt. I also have here some tomato paste, green seasoning, some sweet soy sauce and some Chinese sauce. And over here, I have some freshly chopped sweet pepper, onions, tomato, scallions and cilantro and here I have some cornstarch and I will also be using some avocado oil you can use any oil of your choice and here's a look at my butterfish today I'll be using two pong two ounces now to a small container I'm gonna go ahead and combine all my dry ingredients together once you add all the ingredients together you're gonna go ahead and just give that a stir to make sure that it's evenly distributed now that it's nicely distributed, you're going to go ahead and add in a little bit to the fish. Not too much, just like about a teaspoon and a half or so. Now you're going to go ahead and rub in the dry ingredients. You want to make sure that the fish is evenly coated with the dry ingredients. Now after everything is nicely coated, you're then going to go in with a little bit of your green seasoning. Not too much, just about like two teaspoon to a tablespoon or so now go ahead and mix in the green seasoning once the green seasoning is coated as well you are going to place this on the side allow it to sit for about 15 to 20 minutes before we head over to the stove and after about 20 minutes i'm going to go ahead and batter my fish in some all-purpose flour you want to make sure that the fish is evenly coated with the flour and you're going to place it on the side allow it to sit for about five minutes until all the liquid is absorbed now this is how the fish should be looking when it's done battering now we're going to head over to the stove now to my nonstick pan i have some oil coming up to a nice hot temperature once the oil come up to a nice hot temperature i'm then going to place a few pieces of my fish and allow it to fry until it is nice and golden brown. Now don't forget to flip it on the other side so that the other side can be nice and golden brown as well. Now after frying this for about four to five minutes or until you achieve that nice color you're looking for, we are going to then remove it from the oil and we're going to place it on the side and allow it to drain while we continue frying the other pieces. Now to my preheated nonstick pan, I'm going to be using some of the same oil that the fish was fried in and just add in about three to four tablespoons of that oil. You will then allow the oil to come up to a nice hot temperature before going in with your tomatoes and your onions. Now I'm going to give that a stir and allow the onions to infuse a bit in the oil before I add in my tomato paste and my green seasoning. Now we're going to go ahead and give that a stir and allow it to fry on medium heat for about four to five minutes. We basically want to cook out the rawness of the tomato paste. And after about five minutes, I'm going to go in with my Chinese sauce and my sweet soy sauce. I'm then going to stir that all together to make sure that it's nicely distributed and the color suits me. Now, if you would like your sauce or your stew to be a little bit darker in color, you can always adjust the color by adding a little bit more of the sweet soy sauce or the Chinese sauce. 
Now after achieving the color I am looking for, I'm going to go ahead and add in my dry ingredients. Now we're going to give that a stir and allow everything to be nicely combined. After everything is nicely combined, I'm going to go in with my water. You will add just enough water for the amount of gravy you want. Now after the water is added, you will taste to make sure that the salt is enough for you. If you would like to add some more salt, you can always use the garlic salt as a salt substitute. If you do not have garlic salt, you can also use regular salt. So now that our gravy come up to a boil, I'm just going to cover it and allow it to cook for about 5 minutes or so. Now while that is cooking, we are going to prepare a cornstarch slurry. Now to my cup, I have some room temperature water and I'm going to add in my cornstarch. You're going to mix until you have a smooth consistency before adding it to the stew. Now after about five minutes of cooking, I am going to add in my cornstarch slurry, mix it all together and make sure that the consistency is nice and thick enough for me before I add in all of my veggies, which is my scallion, sweet pepper and cilantro. Now, as soon as I add the veggies, I'm going to go in with my fish. I'm not going to allow the veggies to be cooking for a while because I really don't like when the veggies are very soggy. Now, after adding the fish to the pot, you're going to coat the top with some of the gravy and turn your stove off, allow this to cool down and it is ready to serve. Now, here is the end result of our stew butterfish. I do hope you enjoy watching this video as much as I enjoy making it for you all. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet subscribed for more delicious recipe. As usual, I want to say thank you for watching, goodbye and I will see you in my next video.